So I had quite an interesting thought today. I was painting some of my helmets and then this pickaxe I used for climbing. I was thinking, wow, this camouflage pattern looks pretty all right. Uh, and then when I got finished, I realized there was paint on my t-shirt that wouldn't come off. And I remembered, oh yeah, paint really doesn't come off clothes very good. But then I thought, what if I could paint cloth with the paints I was using for the camouflage painting of my helmets. So, what I'm gonna to try to do today is paint this tan plate carrier and uh, see how it looks and how it holds up. Because maybe this will be a viable method to camouflage uh, other things. Because I've seen other tutorials of making things with spray paint, but the thing with spray paint is, I don't know, you can only do so many things. Like, with uh, the brush painting and with sponge painting, I was able to make these really really like small and textured patterns for the helmets and so I thought what if I could do that on a plate carrier so I've just got some uh, foam inserts I just don't want to take any chances with real plates so yeah I got some foam in here so since there's already basically a base coat right here I'm just gonna start off with the darkest color dark brown making a multi cam type pattern here and then basically what I do is I paint over that dark brown with different colors and so the helmet it doesn't turn out as dark and I'm hoping to do the same thing with the plate carrier. That looks about close enough. So now the idea is just to sponge it on with this old shower loofah. Let's just see how that sticks on there. <laughs> never gonna come off. Looks like a very muddy day. Oops, I got some tan on there. It's a bit early for that. Anyway. I wonder how it sticks to this uh, weird cloth here. It's what like Cry uses for their shoulder straps. I'd imagine it doesn't stick too well, but let's just try it. So far this is looking awful, but it doesn't matter if it looks awful if it works. But that's what we're here to figure out today. Does painting your vest work? All right, now we're gonna do the kind of cream colored tan multi-cam normally has. Ooh, this might not work too well. You know, it, it might look okay in the end, but let's just keep going and see how this works. All right, I think it's gonna actually look decent when I add the green, but uh, right now, this looks like a, a nightmare. But now I know this thing's ready for paintball. It's already been painted. All right, we've kind of got our green here, and uh, I'm gonna start applying it. The last thing this could use is a bit of brown, I think, but besides that, this is the best I can do. And surprisingly, I don't know, to me it looks like AOR2 more than multicam, but yeah. This is to try to copy that kind of reddish brown you see on OCP, not really multi-cam though. So the sun's kind of going down, and that's why it's not working out, because with this one, each layer would dry almost immediately. And uh, here you can see just a little bit of smear. So I'll see how this works out with some use, how it wears, but I feel like it's going to scrape off, and uh, this isn't such a great idea. Alright, so I got the front mostly done. I'm just going to add the green. And then the tan, and that should be it. This doesn't even look this doesn't even look like mossy oak. It just looks like straight up moss. So I'll be updating you guys shortly on how this turns out. 
I'm going to leave it to dry for a few days, maybe a week, and then I'll wear it around and see if all the paint chips off or something like that. Well, that's all for today.